Guys, I'm on my way to the Eye of Africa and I'm in a, a bucky, you called it? A bucky, yeah. In a bucky <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> I have arrived to the Eye of Africa, um, I guess within the estate, and I'm currently just in the restaurant. But this is the restaurant that uh, I was just in, just in here. Sorry, the sun is really glaring. This is the pool, <laughs> it's currently empty. I'm gonna head back in now so I can go and see these property tours. The main like feature of the estate is the golf course, which sort of breaks up all the houses. So you don't find like lots of houses on top of one another, like in other estates. That's a big part of why people, you know, come here. Mm. Um, just for like space, nature. You can see there's a lot of greenery. A lot of soccer players, like footballers who live here. Okay. Um, because of sort of the, the proximity to the two big clubs, Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. People who come here also like to be low-key. It's not like Waterfall, mm. it's a bit like cloudier. Let's assume you're coming in from the main door here. This is the view that I just gave you guys. I was just standing right there. You're coming in from the main door. As you come in, you are greeted by kind of a reception um, area and it seems like over here this probably was the main living area and then you probably have your tv on this this marble entertainment wall living room there and then off the side of that then we have the kitchen most of the appliances are built in there's a lot of um, lower cabinet space because you have this amazing window which again gives you that good view of the estate of the golf course you have your hob in the middle here which is not something that i'm used to seeing but <laughs> that's interesting so you're kind of cooking and you're facing you have your back to the window which is interesting that's probably why out there is the cooker is the way it is because you probably are doing the actual cooking here that kitchen is more just for i don't know i guess display this is really good storage for a kitchen oh guys there's a view they got a cute light fixture by the way this property comes with the furniture that is left here you have a pantry coming back out of the kitchen we see the living room and the dining area off the side here you actually are walking into what is used as the home office so this is pretty decent a pretty decent sized home office. Off the home office is another bathroom. So you could actually use this as maybe a guest bedroom. But this is the view from the other side. Look how quiet and peaceful it is. This is the kitchen that we were just in. And then heading up here, the pool area, which is currently covered at the moment. And then the pool side stuff so heading up the stairs now this is what you see once you come up the stairs big landing here quite a few areas for just lounging it leads out onto another balcony so you're always getting this view heading back in let's go ahead and look at some of these bedrooms starting with this one on the right this is actually the master bedroom um, they've got this marble and gold theme marble gold and gray theme they also have a shower pretty decent sized master bedroom imagine waking up in the morning and just sitting in here journaling Let's head to the room that is directly opposite. This is one of the bedrooms and I go into another one of the bedrooms, built-in wardrobes, um, slightly smaller room. Going off to the other side, um, oh, you have another really big bedroom. This room also has its own walk-in wardrobe area. Good amount of space, you guys, a good amount of space. Thinking of you, I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had? 
I am loving this living room area. I think for me, this is literally like the perfect size. Like it's enough space to kind of like run around, walk around, but then it's still, it still feels kind of cozy. Um, I love it. I, lo I really like the neutral tones that run through this house. I really like that it blends all of these colors together, like black, white, brown, neutrals. And there's so much storage in this house. The thing with new builds, sometimes they just don't have enough storage. How big is this dining area? Don't think I'd want a family this big, but hosting friends and family, eh, I'm not really much of a hoster either, but I absolutely love this. Imagine this is your kitchen. Like, all you have to do to open it is push it like this. I definitely want to have an office in my house. This would be a great background for creating content. You've got a TV in front of you. If I was editing, I could literally see um, like the video that I'm editing in front of me. Got this massive desk. All of the furniture does come with the property if you did want to purchase it. This is huge, right? You can turn this into another bedroom. For me, this would be a content creation room. This property has four bedrooms. They're all upstairs. And so this one is given like major teenage son vibes. Um, I quite like it though. It's quite mature. They're all en suite as well. This bedroom literally has an escape door. If I open this, you guys, look at this. You can literally leave the apartment this way. So on the opposite side, we kind of have more of a daughter vibe. This is so nice. It's so cute. How happy would you be if this was your childhood bedroom? And you get all of the furniture with the apartment. And I also love the fact that everything is an en suite. Let's go see some of the other rooms. Uh, this bathroom is big, is spacious. I'm pretty sure, not even I'm pretty sure, this is definitely bigger than the bedroom that I grew up in. A shower and a bath. Jack and Jill sink, but to be honest, I think I've seen a Jack and Jill sink in all of the bedrooms. And look how big the shower is, you guys. Aesthetics are given grown and sexy. This is definitely the parents' room. And then this is one of the other bedrooms as well. This one is not so gender specific. Let me know what you guys think about this property versus the one that we saw in Sten City. Do bear in mind that Sten, Sten City is a bit more central. I don't know if it's central is the right, right word, but it's around a lot more than this property. It was a pretty long drive to get to the eye of Africa here. So location plays a, a big factor. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what videos, what other videos you want to see. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.